Okay, let's talk about it. Without script. I know how to edit. Let's go. This album is a celebration from a long-term project from my life since 1990s, when I started to, to be interested to move to Norway, completely interested and fascinated by music from ECM Records and lots of artists from Norway, and start to try to listen to more from this music. At the time, there were no internet or streaming services. I finally moved to Norway and was able to build my own studio. And then all tracks from this album are tests I've done on this studio since I moved to Norway and record some ideas. But I didn't think about this album until I record almost all these tracks. The only track I inserted on this album was the harmonium solo called Heritage. The first track recorded were by synth, uh, virtual synth and then I start to make the first recorder here before the studio was completed that's called Haltarn it's a guitar solo with a lot of delays pedals and volume pedal and it was recorded during a Skype conversation with a friend of mine called Sonia Rai and we decided to make something to be used as a basis for her to improvise over it but after listening to that, I decided that it has enough structure to be a music by itself without anyone soloing together. Then I decided to spare this song and maybe produce as an EP. But after a while, I decided to combine it with other tracks, as well as the Fender Road solo called Spring Heart Arm that were recorded here when finally the studio was set up for the first time. And then I decided to make some tests and the test was so inspiring that I decided to make this improvisation and put it on the album. The other two tracks I'm playing with acoustic bass guitar were something really interesting I was not thinking about. But at that time in January 2019, I was used to make a soundtrack for a movie called Shown. And most of the time was using this acoustic bass guitar. So the instruments were here, ready to be recorded with the microphone and the instrument right in the position to be recorded, staring at me at the control room. Then I decided to make some tests and as the same that happened with the Fender Rhodes, I decided to record these improvisations because I was inspired using this instrument and they became these two tracks on this album. Most of the time I dedicate my music career to play double bass but it's an instrument I've sold my last one in 2013. So I became more interested in work as a music producer and sound engineer, as I was already doing since 1996, but changing more and more to focus on studio and my label PMC. So this album is also a celebration from my point of view with music without that ego trap to try to pretend to be a virtuoso on a double bass. Especially because there's no double bass in this album. I only play guitar, harmonium, Fender Rhodes, electric bass with volume pedals, and synthesizers. And so it makes me more relaxed 
to be concentrated on musical aspects, soundscape aspects, instead of technique when playing. I think that's it. I can't remember anything more relevant to talk about this album. 